data-driven marketing. I'm pretty sure you hear it all the time. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what data-driven marketing actually is, what is definitely not, and how being data-driven can make you a better marketer. If you want to start making more data-driven decisions today, then you are exactly in the right place. Hey there, I'm Yevgen. You are at our Marketing Analytics with Alworks BI YouTube channel where we speak all things about marketing, analytics, and data. It's your go-to source for crafting the right strategies for better performance. So, if you want to be all about making data, my friend, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the insights. So, what data-driven marketing is? Imagine every decision like crafting your next Facebook ad is informed by available data. Instead of guessing what might resonate with your audience, you've got the numbers. It's marketing that says goodbye to the spray and pray approach and hello to precision targeted campaigns that hit the mark every time. That goes for paid marketing, but for content marketing, email marketing, affiliate marketing, it's all the same. It's about using data to come up with an idea, test, learn, and analyze. And then you either win or you learn. It's about using the data you have from the past so you can get more or less in the future. It's about using the power of data to make better decisions and finally grow ROI across channels. Now, what data-driven marketing is not? Data-driven marketing is not about just using the platforms that produce data. CRM systems like HubSpot or Salesforce, advertising platforms like Facebook or LinkedIn ads, active campaigns or Twitter. Everyone can do that. Let's take Facebook ad as an example. They use a lot of algorithms to process a lot of data in order to find the right person to show your ad at the right time. But those are the same algorithms that work the same for every advertiser. So you need to do something different to stay ahead of your competition. The good news is that the data you can get from Facebook ads platform is unique for you. No one else would get the same piece of data. And another great thing is that Facebook ads is not the only platform you can get the data from. Other advertising platforms, your website, your tracking system, your sales CRM, your email marketing tool. Data is being created all the time everywhere around you. And that's exactly how you can stand out from the crowd. Use it for better decisions. Imagine stepping into your first strategy meeting as the new head of marketing, facing a room with the CEO and the other C-levels. And the CEO is saying, our focus has always been on traditional channels. Digital, digital marketing, advertising on Facebook, it's never really been our game. It's a bold statement, but for you, it's a challenge, but also an opportunity. Instead of simply agreeing to continue the path that is well known for the company, you see a chance to steer the wheel towards another approach. And you are losing nothing. You either win or you learn. Here's how you could navigate this with a data-driven approach. First, start with an idea. Imagine you believe that digital channels can outperform some of the traditional ones in terms of ROI and bring some more cash. Second, you run a test. Allocate a portion of your budget to, let's say, Facebook ad campaign, targeting the same audience you usually do through the traditional channels. Number three, you analyze. Measure every view, click, and conversion. Compare the performance against your traditional channels. And last but not least, you showcase. You show the CEO and the board not just numbers, but the story that your data tells, how customers are moving, interacting, and converting. And how you report on it? Well, typically, people report with an all-in-one performance dashboard. I'll leave the one we use for our clients in the description to this video. With our tool, you can get it crafted with your data in just around 30 minutes or so. I'll also leave another template as well um, to measure the ROPA effect. So if the case is close to your business and uh, it's important for you to prove the value of the digital channels over the traditional sales, that's for you. And look, this approach to test, analyze and optimize 
is not just about proving your point or showing that you were right. It's about showcasing the potential of the data-driven marketing to open new doors. By letting the data guide your strategy, you're not just following the trends, you're following the insights that could redefine your marketing efforts, potentially leading to better ROI. So now you know what data-driven marketing is, what it's not, and why it's important. But how can you get started right now? What can you actually do to start becoming more data-driven today? First, let's find out all the places you can find your data. Picture this as a treasure hunt where, where your map is your marketing ecosystem. What are the platforms producing the data around you? Where is the data stored? Is it already available somewhere within your organization? In order to find those platforms, ask yourself, where is my marketing magic happening? Now that you've mapped out where your data is, let's start gathering. And no, I don't mean a wild goose chase across platforms. It's about putting all the data into a centralized location, a data warehouse, BigQuery, for example, where you can actually make sense of all of the data you have. At least Google Sheets, because let's be real, data is awesome, but it's also overwhelming. If you are running campaigns across different platforms, those platforms are throwing the data like confetti. What's the goal? To make this data so digestible. You could go old school with a Google Sheet, but I'd rather go with the data warehouse from the beginning. You'll still have to do it when you grow. Each option has its vibe, and yeah, I'll lay down the difference between the Google Sheets and the Google BigQuery Analytics in another video. Consider this. The average marketer is juggling about 10 different data sources, advertising platforms, Google Analytics, email marketing tool, CRM system. Now, imagine trying to make sense of all that mass in Google Sheets, manage data sources, collection frequency, VLOOKUPs and pivots. That's like having a zillion tabs open trying to stitch together inside on the fly. Time consuming? Yes. And your data might be outdated even before you build a report. We have a great video about the importance of data freshness here on this channel. All right, let's imagine you've got your data in place. What's next? It's brainstorming time, asking the right questions. What do you want to ask your data about? Cost per order, customer acquisition cost, lifetime value or return on investment? Yes, but that would not be enough. You need to be diving deeper asking the questions that can really tweak your activities and would show you which metrics you need to measure in order to answer those questions. Like, did our conversions get a bump with the search ad campaign? Your metrics are going to be ad spend, clicks, CDR, and the number of conversions, while the dimensions are going to be the date, campaign, group, and keyword. Curious what's the difference between the metrics and dimensions I've mentioned? Here should be a link to another video on this channel that, that we've recently done. Now it's time to get your hands a bit dirty with data preparation. Don't let the complex terms be a bottleneck for you. It's not just for tech wizards. There are so many ready-made solutions out there, including the ones we've created to simplify marketing analytics and reporting. So you slice your data, you dice it, and maybe even add some more custom metrics you need to answer the questions you are answering. And when it's crunch time, make your data tell a story. Visualize it. It's the best way for spotting patterns, trends, and those aha moments that explain why things are happening the way they are. And those visuals are showing you what to do to optimize growth. And instead of starting with the simple visuals or spending hours on making it tell a story, search for templates. We've prepared dozens of templates for answering the most of the standard marketing questions you might want to get answers to. It's always easier to tweak something that is already done than start from a blank screen. Once you've laid your data down, it's decision-making time. Sure, marketing has its flair and creativity, but in our data-driven world, those decisions need to be fueled by the insights you get from the reports. Take my earlier example with the search ads. Say you have visualized your search Google Ads performance against Facebook ads and noticed the spike. That's your data telling you, hey, this is working. 
And that, my friend, is how you embark on the data-driven marketing journey. It's about leveraging every piece of data to inform your decisions. Now, you know how to try things. Identify what's working and scale it. There you have it. You are collecting, preparing, and analyzing the data, extracting actionable insights from the visuals, and respond to those insights in real time. Great job. I've talked a lot about data-driven marketing through the lens of paid advertising, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. The same principles apply to content marketing, email marketing, social media marketing, affiliate marketing, and basically any other type of marketing. Every marketer can become more data-driven tomorrow than he was yesterday. Just start moving away from intuition-based decision towards data-backed strategies. So if you want better results, you need to learn to make the most out of your marketing data. That's it from me today. If you are interested to know more about data analytics, business intelligence, and marketing strategies, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you more data-driven next time. Bye.